All right, guys, today we're gonna to talk about general purpose EDC knives, or EDC knives that I take everywhere. And what I mean by that is whether these are just conventional, like everyday carry days where I'm not really leaving the house or doing much, or days I'm going out hiking and you know go wherever. These are just general purpose knives that I take everywhere. There are some knives that are definitely you know, like better for certain applications, things like, you know, say this TRM Neutron here is definitely like a really good knife for maybe trail running, you know, just uh it's a lightweight thin edc knife that you can throw in your pocket and forget that it exists you can throw it in a wide variety of different clothes you know like um shorts and you know like workout stuff and it won't really matter right these knives are a little bit more generally general purpose focused so first one up on the list is going to be the strider sng this is one that probably might make some people like a little bit um Maybe they might cringe or something because they're like, you take an SNG out and like use it hard. Not necessarily, can't say there's been a time where I've had to baton this thing, but this is definitely one of those knives that I feel no trepidation in hard use and abuse. And I have hard used it just a little bit, but honestly, every time I'm out and I find myself, you know, like hiking some random trail or something, this is usually what's in my pocket just because I feel like it's one of those knives that obviously paired with a robust fixed blade is a knife that I really don't have any trepidation with. I also really Really like the gunner grip on this one super aggressive g10 texturing and it really does help dig in especially when you're like wearing gloves and stuff and uh, yeah it just offers a lot of traction Another one is in very, a very similar vein for me, and especially with my original paramilitary two, this one I do try to carry a little bit more, but um, you know I have so many knives to EDC, so I don't always EDC at the most. But uh, the paramilitary two is another one that I have legitimately put through its paces. I've batoned these guys. They are actually quite robust, and you would likely break the blade steel um, or break the blade before you actually break the locking mechanism on one of these knives, because they are extremely tough. The compression lock is one of the toughest uh, locks out there. So this is definitely a knife that I have no trepidations of, you know, carrying every day for conventional general purpose, but then also flexing into more hard use roles. Along the same lines as the uh, compression lock is also the crossbar or axis lock. And for me, I think the TRM um, shadow is a really good representation of this. Um, it is a little bit thinner in its blade stock. So once again, this is probably another knife that if you put into a true hard use you'd probably end up breaking the blade stock before you actually break the locking mechanism on one of these guys but either way this is a very tough very robust blade it is also just really general purpose i love the blade shape and the fact that you can choke up on it for those reasons as i've discussed in other videos like this is just a general well-rounded knife that i feel like whether i'm out in the woods whether i'm just doing a general edc kind of day it's just honestly a well-rounded knife for a multitude of different tasks. All right, along the same lines as the last few is also the Demco Knives 8020.5. Once again, a little bit of a smaller knife. Once again, you also have that forward finger choil so you can really get up on that blade. But I think what really makes this one different is the shark lock. The shark lock, while a newer locking mechanism, is still also pretty pretty robust. This is one that you, know, you can definitely put a wall up on and it's not going to break the knife. Um, this one's just overall very well-rounded blade and also like with others that are mentioned you know just a really general purpose blade shape and I also have this one in a sheep's foot or shark's foot as they call it blade shape so I have a couple to pick from but either way um, this is another one that finds its way into many adventures because it's just robust it's you know pretty heavy duty even for a smaller knife and the OS 10 uh, of this blade can take a pretty good beating honestly without skipping a beat. All right, now moving into another very familiar friend, very much similar to the Strider SNG. This is the Auto Strider SNG by Protec. So it has a lot of the same kind of um, ergonomics as the normal Strider, but it is an automatic version. Now this one being a button lock, I probably would not put as much pressure or as much torture on this one, but button locks are stronger than most people think or give them credit for. And this one's honestly pretty darn well solid. Um, and once again too, it does have a nice forward finger choil to make choking up on it and getting right on that very cutting edge 
pretty darn easy. Overall, I am definitely a sucker for my striders when it comes to outdoors, outside, and it shows, I think, at least on here when I post lots of pictures from me being outside, he usually have a strider of sorts on me. All right, last one up, and maybe the newest to this collection outside of the uh, shadow, is the Chris Reeve Knives Umnum Zon. Now, the Umnum Zon is definitely designed to be a more robust um, CRK, and once again, it's a frame lock, so, you know, take that and do with it what you will. Frame locks aren't always the most uh, like strong or overbuilt or robust locks, uh, locking mechanisms for hard use, but the Umnum Zon is definitely um, one that can take some punishment. I wouldn't necessarily go baton down a tree with an umnums on or recommend that you do that as well but if you do have to push into some harder use once again along the same veins of something like my um, strider SNG you know this is going to be able to take those uh, bits of punishment and abuse in stride so I think this is another really solid or venerable option in those regards um, it is just a pretty well well-built knife. I don't want to say it's an overbuilt knife but it's a pretty well-built knife that can take some punishment. Anyways, guys, these are some of my most general purpose blades. Once again, they're not for every situation and every circumstance, but they cover a lot of, you know, just general purpose use. And that's what I end up really liking about them. So anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. As always, God bless, and I'm out.